welcome to Read Woke. I'm Jenna, Programming Librarian with the Cedar Rapids Public Library. Today's program will highlight some exciting reads that are being released in 2021 from a bunch of diverse authors. I'll highlight one book from each category and list several other titles I'd also recommend. Get ready to add a bunch of new titles to your to-read list. There are a few kinds of books that I look to when I'm looking for a feel-good read. One is a teen romance and the other is a cozy mystery. Mia Mansula's Arsenic and Adobo is on my list. It's the first in a new series that follows Leela Makapagal. Leela returns home after a nasty breakup and tries to save the family's Filipino restaurant. However, when her ex, a food critic, ends up dead, Leela becomes the main suspect. Armed with her aunties, and her trusty dachshund, she tries to solve the case to clear her name. This book promises to be a humorous thriller, perfect for a beach read, since you'll be able to check it out beginning in May. Here are a few great other reads you won't have to wait for. Black Buck by Mateo Ascaripur. This Close to OK by Lisa Cross Smith. A few other books that aren't on the shelf right now but you can put on hold are Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro, which will be released in March, followed by Aquarium by Yara Shihori in April, and Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead won't be available until September. Unfortunately, my nonfiction recommendation isn't available until April, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. There are so few books written from the perspective of a person with different abilities that this title caught my eye right away. I Have Been Buried Under Years of Dust, a memoir of autism and hope, is by mother-daughter team Valerie Gilpreen and Emily Groden. Emily was diagnosed with nonverbal autism as a child and did not communicate until she was 25 when she typed the following phrase, I have been buried under years of dust and now I have so much to say. Emily's mother, Valerie, writes about Emily's early years and poems, stories, and insight by Emily encapsulate her perspective of a world she felt trapped outside of. In addition to this book are a few other books I'd like to recommend. Broke in America by Joanne Samuel Goldblum. Last Call by Elon Green, which will be on the shelves soon since it's being released in March. And My Broken Language by Chiara Alegria Hudis will follow in April. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas is a book I'm currently listening to right now. And I'm constantly trying to listen to it whenever I have a free moment. I've read both of Thomas's other books, On the Come Up and The Hate You Give, and I'm loving her new character, Maverick Carter. Mav is a 17-year-old boy whose father is in prison as a leader of the neighborhood gang, the King Lords. He's expected to continue on in the gang like the rest of the men in his family. However, early on, Mav finds out he is a father, and everything changes. As he tries to be the father he feels his son deserves, Mav is forced to balance his responsibilities and relationships, which an adult would find difficult. I love how different and real all of Thomas's protagonists are, and my heart aches for them as they try to find the balance between their own dreams and the limitations and realities of their lives. Some other YA books that are on my 2021 to read shelf are already available for checkout at the library. The Gilded Ones by Menina Forna. One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston isn't on the shelf but will be available in June. Answers Are Approved by Cynthia Ledich Smith is a collection of poetry and short stories from a variety of native authors and is a perfect bedtime read. It's also ready for checkout and on the shelf as it was published earlier this month. It's one of the first books from Heart Drum, a new imprint from HarperCollins dedicated to the work of Native American creators. Stories and poems are shared around the gathering of Native families from nations across the continent for the Dance of Mother Earth powwow in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
In a high school gym full of color and song, people dance, sell beadwork and books, and celebrate friendship and heritage. All of these 2021 recommendations are already on the shelf, so put them on hold as soon as you can. Red, White and Whole by Rajani LaRocca. The Year I Flew Away by Marie Arnold. Take Back the Block by Crystal D. Giles. I Love You Baby Burrito by Angela Dominguez. While my youngest no longer needs to be swaddled, this sweet book is still fun to read to him. I love this book because it's a dual language book with words in both English and Spanish. Together we learn some new words and reminisce about how he was my baby burrito not that long ago. Some other books I'd recommend that are already on the shelf are Milo Imagines the World by Matt De La Pena. Eyes That Kiss in the Corners by Joanna Ho. But you'll have to wait for Boogie Boogie Y'all by C.G. Esperanza, which comes out in August. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the program.